Hi, welcome to Journaling with Carrie. I'm Carrie. For day one, we're going to acknowledge the clouds, trust in the sun. We're starting from ourselves and we will be working throughout these 30 days. We'll expand it to others and to the situations in the world. But for right now, for day one, we're acknowledging the clouds in our own life. And I really want you to focus today on things in your own life or things about yourself that you see or that you feel for whatever reason are clouds. Uh, for example, I, I will be doing this with you, but I, I know one of the clouds in my life is my psoriasis. And I'll be writing about that. Uh, you can, I'll show you right now. I'm wearing turtlenecks because you can see I'm pretty much covered in psoriasis. So the next 30 days, you'll see me in turtlenecks, scarves, long sleeves. Um, but I'm also hoping that Throughout this process, there will be healing in it. Someone else could have a cloud, could be feeling a frustration of where they are in their life or what they're doing, their career. Those are all things about you. Uh, frustration in the way you've reacted towards someone else. Uh, frustration in whatever, right? But I just want, what I want is today to be about the clouds in your life the clouds um, about you. We're not worrying about others right now. We'll get to that when we expand it out. And so for the next 15 minutes, I just want you to list, list the clouds. Don't even have to worry about writing them. You could put, if you want, you can write a little sentence or two about each one to put it in context, or you can just list. Um, we'll do this for 15 minutes, but we'll come back together and go on with our day. So for the writing, you'll see me, I'm going to move. I have, I tend to like to sit and write in my chair where I'm at. Um, I also like to sit on the floor. Um, and I think for this writing series, I'm going to move to the floor so I can move the camera. Because the reason why I like sitting in the chair is because I also like to look out my window because there's nice trees out there. Um, I like sitting on the floor at the table because it's comfortable. I'm going to, for today, sit on the floor so I can move the camera and so that you can look at outside the window and the trees as we're writing. All right, let's get started. I'm setting the timer for 15 minutes. And let's write. So go ahead and start just by writing day one. So when we're done with our 30 days, we have a sense of completion with that. Okay, so I just put day one, uh, Silver Lining Moments journaling series.
If you're having trouble get started, you can also just write yourself the question, what are the clouds in my life right now? Or what clouds do I need, what clouds of my life, what clouds of me do I need to see right now? And then just have the pen keep moving and something will come up.
as I'm writing this, I'm just realizing that there is some irony in what I'm asking you to do, you know, but I think it's important. So I'm just going to hopefully not bother you too much while you're writing. Um, but, you know, we always look around to see the positive life. Silver Lining Moments is about seeing the positive life. And here I am asking you to focus on the negative in the clouds. There's a reason for that, because I think sometimes when we just Seeing the positive, um, it's not pretending that the clouds aren't there. And I think that we don't, we can see the positive, but not feel it, right? There's a difference between just like looking for the positive, seeing it all the time, and you're at a superficial level, but to actually step into it and feel it. I think it's important to knowledge and see the clouds, see the negative stuff. We can't pretend it's not there. That's not, if, if, if there's something negative in our life, um, negative in the world, um, hard, difficult, whatever, pretending that it's not there doesn't make it go away. Looking at it, acknowledging it, feeling it, healing it, working through it is Although right now I'm asking you to focus on the negative, which seems contrary, you're just writing on the clouds, right? You're focusing on the negative. It seems contrary to uh, silver lining moments, but seeing, for me, seeing the silver lining in things and not just seeing it, but really feeling it, feeling the love and light behind the things can only happen if we fully acknowledge the clouds, the darkness, the negative times first. Um, so if you're wondering, oh gosh, this feels icky sitting here in the in the clouds and the dark stuff. I understand because I actually stopped to say this because I was writing that I was feeling that myself. <laughs> you know, like, oh, this is a lot of darkness. Um, so, so much around us tells us to only focus on the positive, which are good, but if we're doing it at a superficial level because we're not acknowledging the darkness in our lives, then that's not good. All right, all right, so sorry to interrupt. We have, in case you're wondering, Yes, we're close to the end of the 15 minutes. That really didn't feel like 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to add on an extra minute because I don't want my talking to be the last thing. Um, so go, actually I'm gonna add on two more minutes. Go ahead and start. In this, just ask yourself, is there anything else? Are there any more clouds that I need to see right now?
Okay, let's come back together. Um, just to give you an idea of some of the things that I did write about uh, for my clouds. And again, you don't have to share yours with anyone. You can in the comments to the video series. Um, you can also join um, Silver Lining Moments Facebook page. And actually, if anyone's interested in wanting to join a private Facebook group to do your journaling practice, let me know. Just send me an email and we will, we will create a group, a private group, for all of us going through this. Okay, so uh, some of the things I'm not going to, <laughs> I listed my writing's not the best. Um, some of the things I did write was my psoriasis. And with that, it, it didn't come right at the same time, but also some of the clouds is trying to hitting that on a very restricted diet right now. No dairy, no eggs. Um, I've been a vegetarian for a long time, but um, I'm also no cheese right now. It's a hard thing, um, which I, but it's a good thing. Independent of my psoriasis, I wanted to go vegan for a long time, so now I am. But um, the hardest thing is no chocolate. And while I'm not a big drinker, I do like to have a glass of wine every once in a while, so there's none of that too. So it's like, yeah, yeah, so that's a cloud right now. There will be a silver lining to it, I trust that, but... Um, uh, something else that came up, procrastination and um, my rejection from Georgetown University, which was eons ago, but that popped up in there. And uh, the sense of, uh, and the sense of um, lacking, like I'm lacking something and I don't know what it is, sense that I'm lacking something for full success and prosperity. So. That just gave you an idea of some of the things that I wrote about. Um, what I'm gonna ask you to do right now, look at yours and something that maybe something it is that you have a strong reaction to or energy to or something that is just the opposite. You're like, oh, not now. No. I want you to circle three or four of them. The ones that have a lot of energy behind them or the ones that you really, you're like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. That one gets circled. All right, so I'm going to circle three or four of mine. So the, the three things that I circled are psoriasis, procrastination, and um, the feeling that I lack something. And with that, we're going to end today, but as we were drumming up the cloud, as we were focusing on the clouds in our life, I just want to end with one thought. Especially if anyone's feeling a little icky in this, um, you're like, oh, I want to do journaling to, you know, bring happiness in my life. And she's having me think about the darkness and the clouds. Ugh. Um, so here's what I want you to say. And look at these clouds that I listed. I acknowledge them. And I know they are just clouds. And like all clouds, they will come and go. But the light is always there during each day with the sun and the light is even there at night with the moon. These are just clouds. The light is always there. Even with these clouds, I am okay. And I trust in the light. Let's conclude with this final thought during today May you be happy and healthy. May you be free from suffering. May you be free from physical, emotional, 
mental, spiritual, financial suffering. May you be free from negativity, drama, and conflict. And even with acknowledging your clouds, know that you are loved, you are okay. And during today, may you be immersed in peace, prosperity, positive energy, love, and kindness. May you give and may you receive genuine acts of love and kindness. Thank you for joining in. I will see you tomorrow on day two.